you so much for clicking on my video to watch. So for today's video, I'm doing something a little bit different and I'm gonna be hauling everything that I have bought for my baby so far. So I'm just gonna be going through everything that I've purchased. I've watched a few of these videos and I really enjoy them. So hopefully you guys will enjoy it too. And if you're expecting, maybe it will give you some ideas. So before we hop on into the video, please don't forget to subscribe, click that little bell beside the subscribe button. That way you guys get notified every time I upload a new video. Also be sure to like this video if you enjoy it. And if you'd like to know everything that I bought, then please just keep watching. So before we get started, if you didn't know or if you're new here, I am expecting baby girl July 2nd. So just in a few days, I'll be eight months pregnant, which is crazy. So she'll be here very, very soon. Also keep in mind, I'm a first time mom, so I may have gone overboard, but I've been having so much fun shopping. Shopping is one of my favorite things to do, so I've been enjoying it. First, I'll just talk about the big items that we decided to go ahead with. I'm not gonna be showing them in this video because I cannot be bothered to be putting them together right now and, you know, lugging these big items around. But I'll start off with the stroller because the stroller was one of the first things that, that I knew I really really wanted with everything along with that I did a ton of research before I bought anything so this is the one that I decided to go with and that was the Uppa Baby Vista they came out with a new one called the V2 series so I was waiting for that one to come out so I can compare the two and decide which one I wanted and really there wasn't much of a difference other than the new one had more suspension on either the back wheels or the front wheels and the color was just slightly different. I ended up going with just the regular Vista because the other one didn't really have much of a difference and I like the color of this one better. The car seat we decided to go for was the Nuna Rava. So it's a convertible car seat so they can be in there from when they are a little infant until they're a toddler basically. I think it turns into a booster seat eventually. I know there's a lot of debate where sometimes it's easier to just get an infant car seat because then you can just pop it right out of the car and pop it back in. But since the stroller that we're getting has a bassinet, she would basically just go straight into there. And I talked to a few people about it and usually babies will adapt really easily and fall asleep really easily if you take them out of their car seats. So hopefully this will work out for us. Another reason why I chose to buy the convertible one is because it saves us a few hundred dollars because within a few months, we wouldn't be having to buy a whole new car seat anyways. Another bigger item that we decided to purchase was the Nuna Swing. So I got the shade Dusk and it is the Nuna Curve. I was debating on the Four Moms Mamaru and this one and I just decided to go with this one. I thought it was a lot sleeker. It kind of looked more comfortable from what I saw. So I went with that one. Obviously some other bigger items are for the nursery that we got, but I want to save all of the stuff that I got for the nursery for the nursery tour that I want to do because I'm really excited about it and I think it's going to look so cute. So all that stuff I will save for that video. Now I'm going to move on and actually show you guys some things that I have beside me. I have a huge pile. So I'm going to try and break it up into sections. So I guess I'll start with diapering. So this is one of the first things I bought because I knew that this was the diaper bag that I wanted. It is from the brand Freshly Picked and I decided to go with the normal size. So not the mini. They also have minis and I decided to choose the black because that will match everything. They did also have a cheetah print one, which I could have died, but I know it won't match with everything and I know that I would regret it if I didn't get the black shade. So that's the shade I got. These are the straps and they are adjustable. The opening flap is a magnetic button and they also have a front pouch with a zipper, which is just kind of thin. You can throw your keys in there or whatever. The zipper is a little tassel, which is really cute. And it just opens up into the main part. And it's huge, so it can store a lot. And I feel like since I'm a first time mom, I'm gonna be a little bit extra with everything that I bring and do. So I need a lot of storage. So the nice thing about this is it comes with a little changing pad. So when you're on the go, you can pop this out and change them really easily. And that just comes inside of this pouch. And then there's also another zipper here. And what I really liked about this diaper bag is that it had insulated pockets on the side so you can put your bottles in there. This is really actually hard to show in the position I'm in. But this is where the insulated bottles go and it's actually a pretty big pouch. It's just kind of hard to show right now. The other side has another pouch. It's just not insulated. And then two more pouches here on the side. So there's just tons of storage and space for you to put things. It also has two side pouches and then 
a back pouch. The next thing that I got was the Ubby Diaper Pail. I got this one in the shade white and I chose this one because this one is steel so I thought it was just a lot more sanitary than say the Genie because that one is plastic. Not that there's anything wrong if you want to choose that one. That's just why I went ahead and chose this one. And I wanted to make sure that I got a diaper pail in general because I don't want to be smelling those in the regular trash. The next thing was the changing pad. So instead of a changing table, I decided to buy a peanut changer and it's gonna go right on top of the dresser in the nursery and that's where I'll change her. And the one I decided to get was more on the pricey side. I really like the idea of this one. So I decided to go with the Kikaru and I got it in the shade vanilla. There's no laundry required for it so you don't need to go ahead and change out the covers for the changing pad it's just kind of a rubbery material and you just wipe it down it's really easy to clean so i kind of got it for mostly the convenience of it i'm going to be a new mom and i just wanted to try and make everything super convenient for myself babies are messy and i didn't want to have to do the laundry every time i changed her on a fabric changing pad so that's why i chose this one okay, let's talk about actual diapers i was between three brands and this took the most research for me it was the diapers and the wipes so the three brands that i wanted to end up trying was the honest company hello bello and pure pampers so i didn't end up getting any of the pure pampers because one i found an insane deal on the honest company diapers at my local grocery store so i was like as well buy these and it's not like they're cheap diapers to begin with so i thought i would snatch up the deal and if they don't end up working out, then I can give them to someone who needs them. But I did just end up buying a lot of the size one. What I may have gone overboard on was the wipes though. So I got the Honest Company wipes. I got this pack, which I didn't even realize that they came in individual packs in this bag. So I also bought a couple of <laughs> these packs. But these are the actual packs that come in the bag. I thought it was a bag just full of wipes. I am getting the Ubby wipe dispenser, so I thought that I could just pop those wipes in there, but <laughs> my baby brain really didn't catch on to that one, so I have a bunch of these wipes. And like I said, I also wanted to try the Hello Bella brand, so I found this like insane deal on these wipes. There's 600 wipes. <sighs> So, you know, I had to get this pack too, so. I'm pretty much stocked up on wipes. I also got some more because I ended up buying a subscription pack for the Hello Bello diapers in the newborn size. Again, I got a really good first time deal. It was 25% off the box. So since I had all of these size one diapers, I decided to just slowly get newborn size. You may not need all of these newborn diapers, but again, either save them for the next baby, give them to someone who needs them, but look, how freaking cute these are. You can choose out of so many patterns. <laughs> They're so cute. So these ones are fragrance and lotion free, plant derived and hypoallergenic. Honest Company diapers are also hypoallergenic. I wanted to make sure that I was getting hypoallergenic, safe for sensitive skin. I know I'm really sensitive and I just wanna make sure that everything I'm buying is allergy free and really safe for her skin. You can choose to get some discounted items with your box. So I just only chose to get this organic baby powder. I know a lot of the times baby powder can be unsafe. So I saw this one was premium organic and it's just made with cornstarch, baby powder, aloe, and it's free of all these things. So I thought this one would be the safest one to get. So this was the only other thing that I chose to get from the website. I got this pack from Oliva Naturals. I thought I would try them all out and it comes with a variety so I can just I them out and if I like them, I can buy more. So one is pacifier and toy wipes, one is hand and face wipes, tooth and gum wipes, and then some actual just baby wipes. A couple of cleaning products I decided to go with was this spray. This is a Dapple Baby all-purpose spray. Again, no harsh chemicals or anything like that. And these are the Baby Ganics all-purpose surface wipes. I'll show you the pacifiers and kind of teething things that I decided to go with. I'll just mention this really quick. This is the Free to Baby little pacifier thing that you can give them medicine with. So I got that. I went with a few different pacifiers because I don't know which one she's gonna like. I got these Bibs ones. I just got the shade white. I got these cute little itsy ritzy ones. They have little pink bows on them. And then of course I got a Wubbinub and I got the cow because are you kidding me? That's freaking cute and hilarious. And then I also got a pacifier clip. This one is also non-toxic and eco-friendly. It is from the Lulu Lollipop brand and it's just this white. I really like white and black. So if you see a pattern, 
that's why. And then, of course, I had to get the Sophie. This is a teether meant for zero months and up, so I got this one. I didn't bother getting any teethers for when she's older because I can just get those later. I don't want to go too crazy. So I'll show you a couple random things. I don't really know what category to put them in, maybe sleeping, but I got her one of these headrests that prevents the flathead syndrome. I saw that a lot of people like the Baby Move brand, but I thought this one was so cute. It's shaped as a little bear and it's white, which I really like. It's the Cushies brand. And yeah, so when you lay them down, it just prevents their head from getting flat because they have such soft little delicate heads. And then so many people talk about this. This is the Hatch Baby. It's a sound machine and a nightlight. So it makes so many different sounds. I can kind of test it out and see which one she likes the most. And then this nightlight changes from so many different colors, kind of like a neon light. I have a neon light bulb and it's really relaxing and you can also get the app for your phone so you can control it from your phone which makes it really really easy. I guess these ones can kind of go into the sleep category too but I got her a couple of swaddles. I got one super cute one but it's going to be for her announcement picture so I don't want to show it yet but I found this one at HomeSense when you know stores were still open. You can go <laughs> around and shop. This one is so cute. It's watermelon. She's going to be a summer baby so I thought it was cute. It comes with a little headband. This one just has X's and O's all over it. I obviously got her some books, so I'm not going to bore you and show you all of them, but I have to show you these ones because they're actually adorable. These I all found on Amazon, and first of all, this one, <laughs> it's called This Little Piggy Went to Prada, and it's nursery rhymes. It's basically nursery rhymes just amped up to be fancy and kind of luxury, so... I had to get it. And then these are so cute. These are Little People Big Dreams books. They have plenty more, but I got the Coco Chanel and the Audrey Hepburn. Can you even? And then I got the Claris series. So this is Claris, the chicest mouse in Paris. I also have the other one on the way. There's one more in the series that's coming in the mail, but these books are just must-haves. Just a few other random things. I got this little burp cloth. It has lemons all over it. So cute. Um, washcloths. These are from Burt's Bees. And a couple of hooded towels also from Burt's Bees. And these are 100% organic cotton. So they're very nice. Hopefully they will be nice and gentle on her skin. Okay, I'm going to show you some of the bath time things I got her. So, I just got one bath toy, and this is a Ollie and Carol with the duck. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So, it has this kind of vintage look to it, and it's a white duck with gold polka dots on it. They also have different colors. And this guy is also eco-friendly, and it's natural rubber. There's no hole in it either, so no bacteria can get inside of it. And then I got a little baby wooden brush set. I got all her little hair brushes in here. This is so soft, so it's going to be really nice on her head. And if she comes out with anything like me or my husband, she's probably going to have some hair. So, this one for when she's a little baby, and then it also comes with a other brush, a comb, and then this little silicone thing so you can wash her hair. This is the bathtub I decided to get her. Kind of boring, but this is the Angel Care bathtub, and that's about all there is to it. This is kind of a rubbery plastic, so it's soft for her to lay on. And then, for times when I don't feel like bending over the tub, I got this blooming bath. So it's this cute flower and you can just pop it into the sink if you have a smaller sink, which I do, and you can just fit the baby right in there and it's nice and soft and cushiony. It's going to be really comfortable and a lot of the times it's just easier to bathe a baby in this sink. So I went ahead and got this. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm almost done. So I decided to get her some bottles and I went with the Como Tomo bottles because they're super popular and I heard a lot of great things about them. So I went ahead and got the bundle, which comes with two of the smaller size, two of the bigger size, and then some extra nipples to change out of. And then my sister-in-law, she's going to send me a breast pump. She's also going to send me an Advent Phillips bottle and a Dr. Brown's bottle. So I'll have some options for her to try out to see which ones she takes. Oh yeah, and then a couple extra cute things. So I first just wanted her to have one stuffy that was from me and my husband. So this was what we chose. It's a jelly cat stuffy and it is the bunny in the size medium. I really like the size mediums. I feel like that's just the perfect size and they're just so soft and so cute. And then I saw on Pinterest a basket full of jelly cat stuffies and it was kind of just like a decoration in the nursery so of course 
I got inspired by that, so I started buying more. So I got her the unicorn, too. <laughs> and then I got her the little unicorn rattle. This is just to die for. It's so cute and tiny. And basically, now I'm gonna start a collection just to have a basket of stuffies for no apparent reason. Okay guys, well that is it for the video. That is pretty much it. I still have some things coming in the mail, some things I still have to order, so not everything is here yet but make sure you follow me on my instagram because i can kind of keep sharing as it comes there also obviously got her a ton of clothes too but i don't want to bore you guys and go through all the clothes so i'll just show you a little maybe overview of all of the clothes that i ended up buying for her so far i have a ton of clothes coming for her still and i know everyone says don't buy a lot of baby clothes but i'm gonna be changing her out a lot and putting her in cute outfits that's just how i am so that's what i'm gonna do so please don't forget to subscribe for you leave like this video if you enjoy it if you enjoyed the little switch up and some baby content in here i'm just getting really excited so i wanted to share my excitement with you let's chat in the comments let me know if you're expecting a baby if you have any children if you're having a boy or a girl i would love to know and yeah i will see you guys next time bye